Hi, and welcome back on the International Amateur de Cigar. Well, this is our duel number 12, and this time we're going to Costa Rica. Well, actually, almost in Costa Rica, because this time we will smoke the Brun del Rey Gold Special Edition Robusto Inmenso. It's made in Costa Rica, but from tobacco from different countries. And on the other side, we'll smoke the Oratio number no. 6, which is made in Nicaragua, but has some Costa Rica tobacco in it. You're a bit lost? Well, don't worry, let's smoke and we'll tell you which short Robusto comes on top. The Oratio 6 has actually all the cigars from the brand, shows a very good looking, oily and thick wrapper with an appetizing chocolate color. Draw is tight but good, and right away the short Robusto develops rich and deep aromas on the organic side and spiced up with black pepper. The first third, if we can call it a third, is surprisingly round and intense at the same time. The second third becomes deeper and the smoke continues to be rich, opulent and thick. The cigar is also gaining in strength, but in a very controlled way, which is quite an achievement for a cigar of this size. It's enjoyable, very balanced and already starts to be filling. It's impressive. The last third, well, the end of the cigar, continues to show balance, strength and intensity. Yes, there is a hint of astringency, but considering the size of the cigar, this is very well controlled. I have smoked a very good short Robusto, rich and enjoyable. With its Colorado Maduro Pretty wrapper, the brand del Rey is much thinner and lighter than its opponent. First third, the brand del Rey starts off nice and straight, and immediately shows its rustic character. The cigar deals with some red cedar, fresh walnut and grey pepper nuts. In my opinion, it clearly lacks of complexity compared to the Horatio 6. In the second third, the flavor profile is dominated by damp wood, joined by a few and two rare hints of dried fruits and coffee beans. I enjoy this energy, but it's just a shame that the crescendo strength is not better contained. In the final third, the Brundel Ray shows a few signs of bitterness, joined by pepper hints that really take over. It's clearly a rustic cigar, just average. As I've just said, the cigar is clearly average and uh, gets very hot uh, during the degustation. The cigar deserves two rings. And on the other side, the, the ratio clearly is on top of the Brunel Ray. The cigar is very aromatic, very deep. Uh, and, and quite strong, but still very balanced. So this cigar deserves four rings. And this time, it's very easy to say that the winner is the Horatio 6. Thanks for watching, and see you next time in the International Amateur de Cigar. Happy reading and happy smoking. Bye! Bye!